Hi there, my name is Ryan Malloy. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the side lengths of a triangle when all we know is the total area and one of the side lengths. Now, you might think that this is enough information to uniquely characterize a triangle, but in general, that's not true. It is possible for multiple distinct triangles to have the same area and for one of their side lengths to be the same. So, we need one more piece of information in order for this to be possible. We're going to assume that we know that our triangle is isosceles, meaning that two of the sides are of the same length. So let's walk through an example. Suppose that we know that the area of this triangle is equal to 12 square inches. And suppose we know that the length of the base is 6 inches. Now the other quantity that we need in order to solve this is we need to know the height, which we'll call h. But a simple formula can relate these three quantities and that the area is equal to base times height divided by 2 where we know that our area is 12 and we know that our base is 6. So all we need to do is solve for h. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So we get 24 equals 6h. And from here we can just divide by 6. And we find that h equals 4. Great. Now, the reason why this is enough information for us with an isosceles triangle is that this altitude will bisect this angle at the top and it will bisect this line segment at the bottom into two line segments of equal length. So, since we know that this is a right angle, we can imagine this as being divided into two right triangles, which are much easier to work with. So we'll just take a look at the right half, where we know that this is a right angle, bottom is 3 inches, which is half of 6, and the left side is 4 inches, which we found from the height earlier. So all we need now is this side, but we can simply use the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us that the length of one base squared plus the length of the other base squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So let's just put, plug in the values that we know. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. That's 9 plus 16 equals 8 squared. Add these up and we get 25 equals 8 squared. And from here, we simply take the square root of both sides, and we find that our missing side length is 5. Great. So now we know that this is 5 inches. And since this triangle is part of our larger triangle that we started with, we know that this is 5 inches. And since this is an isosceles triangle, we know that these two side lengths are the same. We also know that this is 5 inches. So there we have it. We started with just the base and the total area, and we found the lengths of the two remaining sides. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the side lengths of a triangle when we are given the area and one of the side lengths.